Member statements. The member from Etobicoke North. <laughs> Thank you, Speaker. Canada is in the midst of a diabetes epidemic, Speaker, so I take this opportunity as a physician and parliamentarian to personally thank the Globe and Mail, the Canadian Diabetes Association, and medical colleagues Dr. Sabod Verma, Bernie Zinman, and Richard Gilbert. First, I'd like to salute, thank, and recognize the Globe and Mail, and in particular, my effervescent editor, Traley Pierce, Globe Life editor, Catherine Hayward, and health editor, Sarah McWhorter. I thank them for allowing me to pen pieces that I hope will contribute to the Canadian conversation, alert us to important health trends, and signal shifts and recalibrations of the medical mindset. It's been said that medicine is the most scientific art and the most artistic science. I am pleased to report to this House that the Globe's approach to health coverage mobilizes this wisdom. I also thank the Canadian Diabetes Association for the Diabetes Charter, a Diabetes Bill of Rights. I quote now, Speaker, from my own article in today's Globe. Managing the coming diabetes epidemic won't be easy. Right now, there are 3 million Canadians with diabetes. 6 million more are pre-diabetic. There's a whole generation of adolescents who study, play, and socialize by computer, a digital world in which physical activity is unnecessary. The Diabetes Charter is a Bill of Rights, outlining the duties and responsibilities of patients, healthcare providers, government schools, and the public. Speaker, these are all important pieces of the evolving diabetes puzzle. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci.